Good morning. It is 8.48 in the morning or 0.848 hours. And it's a bombing 47 degrees outside and sunny. Should go up to the 60s today, low 60s, and drop back down to the 30s. And then we have, what, spring in a couple of days? <laughs> so Mother Nature threw us a curveball. All right, we're going to give you cold weather. So not bad, you know, have, but when you have to wear a jacket, you know, I'll probably take my jacket off by the end of the shift. Probably by the end of the shift would be in the 60s, so. Because I got my lining in here, you know, so it gets above a certain temperature, right? I can't function. So I got to take it off and let them breathe. But, but this is my TGIF Tuesday, which I call Crazy Tuesday. And right now the contractors are doing okay. And I had a few come in. I had to give them passes. Let them know they get their decals and stuff like that. And there's a few they're going to go get it today. So, so you know, a great communication between both and uh having fun and then, and then i found out next week uh friday saturday sunday of next week i'll be working uh dispatch so i'll be getting away from the east gate for three days and working dispatch so that's going to be pretty uh pretty fun you know get 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 away from the east gate for a little bit because the east gate can be can be stressful you know it can be and it is a very stressful gate because you're, you're dealing with a lot of things so and uh especially with the contractors coming in and you always got new contractors coming in which i call subcontracting they you know they come in all the time and they're only here for a day or maybe a couple of days and that's it and they're gone you know but you still have to give them that you know 10 day notice saying hey after 10 days get your decal and you never see them again and they may come back two three months later and i'm like oh you need to go to the office to get a decal you know what i mean and that's the way it is you know but I can't remember every single vehicle that comes in. You know, I try to memorize everybody. And I know a few, you know, owners and stuff like that that come in that I know. But, you know, my memory is, I'm 54. My memory is not as tacked as it used to be in my 20s and 30s. You know what I mean? So, other than that, but they're all smiling, you know. And uh, that's a good thing, you know. No arguments. I haven't had an argument on this gate for, for a very long time. And uh, I'm going to continue to do that streak, you know. I want to make everybody happy, you know. And that's the thing, basically, being, a, being you know, being on the gate, basically, you being able to happy, give him a few extra more days. Say, okay. There's one guy, he had his uh, vehicle in the shop, and he's got the Enterprise, uh, you know, rental truck, you know, so he can do work. So I tell him, I says, hey, man, I said, I'll give you to this date until you get your truck back. Okay, man. And it was a fuel line, he said, and he said he'll be back in a few weeks. So he'll get here. So I gave him a pass. You know to for the rental car truck because you can't really get a decal on a rental truck you know and there's some people that are coming in their trucks are down either maintenance or motor transmission fuel line whatever the case may be and they have to get rentals either u-haul or uh, hertz or, or enterprise whatever the case may be you know and you, you can't really give up you know tell them to get a decal so you just give them a pass on with how long you need how long you have the vehicle for and they get past for that duration and there you go you know and that's it. I don't even give them a notice. I mean, it's, it's a rental car, you know. But if they're going to get their vehicle back and they don't have a decal, I'll give them a notice. Say, hey, this is for you. When you get your vehicle back, you know, try to get your, your decal at the office. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's been it's been a wild ride today. You know what I mean? It was like, well, Monday, I wasn't here Monday. Uh, no. Because I was out. I, my whole body from head to toe was like in flames it oh it hurt you know and i couldn't get out of bed so my wife said my wife was like man i can't even get out of bed i can't i can't even do it i can't even do any you know basic functions and she's like what well, so i called out i had i had the pto time so i called out now that's what it was all day long i was in i was in bed i was like oh this sucks and I, so i did get up this morning i feel good i am gonna go to gym after work and uh for a little bit you know I think I'm gonna do some weights as well as a bike and maybe be up the bag for a little bit. You know, just, you know, get everything, get all the frustrations. Cause I, I was frustrated because I only did, went to the gym, I think twice this week. And I'm like, you know, I'm getting aggravated because I can't get up at 2.30 in the morning so I can go to the gym. And then when it heads to 2.30 in the morning, I just, I just roll over and say, screw it, you know? So I gotta get that mindset, you know, that mindset of get your happy ass up and get to the freaking gym. You know, that's what I need to do. So, but that's all I do when I have to work, you know. Last time, I think it was Saturday. Was it Saturday? I think it was Saturday. It rained like cats and dogs in Crestview. 
was it Saturday or Sunday? I think it was Sunday. Uh, yeah, Sunday, because all I know is I went up, you know, back home, and it, I said, I ain't, I ain't going out in that, in that that bad boy. Yeah, it was Sunday, because it was St. Patty's Day. Yep, and it was raining up north, but not down here. So. I did get my Irish beer. Uh, the McGuire's, the restaurant that we go to, they make their own beer, and they had, they had an Irish red. So I had an Irish red. So, all right. So I had my one beer for St. Patty's Day. And, uh, you know, so now I got just margarita stuff left and I'll leave that alone. I didn't really like it. So yeah, we had a blueberry one and an eh, didn't like it. So, <sighs> oh, but anyway, so I got what, six minutes to go. All right. Well, let me get out of here and I'll talk to y'all later. Can I Chris out? Peace. Love y'all. All right. Bye.